Okay, uh, this is a state of mind. If you like what you see, hit the little subscribe because we're, we're we're climbing, 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 climbing. We're, we're gonna get where we need to go, and it's because of everybody. And I'm so happy. So um, today, um, I have. It, it's kind of like. Um, a different kind of state of mind. I have a, a an incredible actress who I just had the pleasure of working with on General Hospital, the hit show General Hospital. <laughs> and uh, I, I've never worked with her. And we did this scene, and I said to myself, wow, now this is an actress i gotta tell you because i i was like you know i mean so uh i'm just thrilled to have this underrated actress I mean, she, she may not be underrated i mean i think she's just fantastic um and she's here today on state of mind now i'm her name I'm just going to call her by one name, like Beyonce, like Adele. It's just one name. Her name is JoJo. How you doing? Hi. I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, I'm doing uh, really good because you're here. And it's, you know, let's, let's talk about the first time that we worked together. Can we talk about that? Yeah. How did you, first of all, can I just ask you a question? Yeah. Um, what do you think about me as an actor? I think you're really good as playing Sonny because you act like him and you are. Like, you're not acting, but you're in him, basically. Like, I'm living the character. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. So, after our scene, how did you feel? I felt pretty great because it was. I thought it was my first time working with you. Was it? I think so. Yeah, and after that, I just saw how good of a person you. Are. Oh, that's sweet. And I wanna, if you don't mind, I wanna tell the audience, the state of mind audience, how uh, what happened after we worked together. Okay, that's okay. fine with me. Yeah. Um, like, I remember I was in the wardrobe and I came out and you were there and then we hugged. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, I said you were great and all that and I hope to work with you Thank again. You. And yeah, you're welcome. And then, and then I went to lay down on my bed and as I lay down on my bed, I heard something under the, under the door. And I, and I, and I got up, and I said, "What?" And I found something. They, they don't know this, right? I found this beautiful picture, <laughs> <laughs> and it says JoJo to Sunny, and it has me there with the black hair, right? And then you're right here. And then I opened the door, and you were right out there. And then I said, that's an incredible picture. Uh, and you said, thank you, because you're so polite. And then we, we just started talking. Your mom came. And that's how we started our relationship. Yeah. How did you feel about all that? I felt pretty great because it was like meeting a new friend. Yes. Yes. So now we're friends. Yeah. Wow. This is just... I can't tell you. I'm so glad that you're on this chair. Yeah, it's just amazing. So Thank you. I'm going to ask some questions. This is not like an interview interview. This is just kind of like a conversation with your new friend. Okay. So tell me about how you grew up. Well, I grew up doing Cirque du Soleil because I was doing it since I was a baby. And I used to go on my dad's shoulders and do crazy tricks. And when I was old enough, 
I stand it on his head without slipping. Really? Yeah, and he didn't hold me. I was just there. And that was the first time I ever did that trick. Wow, so then you started doing more and more and more? Yeah, so, and then when I was like like five or six, I started doing acting. Oh. So I was doing Cirque du Soleil and then acting. I think I started, I think I started when I was like five. Really? Yeah. What was your first acting job? My first acting job was probably... Grey's Anatomy? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Tell me about that audition. So, I don't remember much about it. And I think it was about, like... Yeah, I don't remember much about it. Because mm -hmm. it was, like, a long time ago. Like, three years ago, basically. Oh. And how old are you right now? I'm probably seven. And I'm about to turn eight. Oh, you are. So, what did you do on Grey's Anatomy? I just did, like, I was in a hospital, mm -hmm. and you know that I have long hair, but one time when I was in a hospital, they made my head look bald. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I had cancer or something. Oh. And I had to shave my head. Did you have a lot of lines, or did you say a lot? Or? No, I only had, like, five, like, the limit to my pages were five, and my lines were probably, like, like ten lines, and then that's it. On each page, even 10. So then you got General Hospital. Yeah, I got the audition because after that, they saw me, how good I was. Right. And then they did an audition for me. I had an audition for that. And the weird thing is that Grey's Anatomy is right next to General Hospital. Oh, yeah. And that audition after changed my life. Really? Because you met me? Yeah. And I met all my, the other people. I met my mom. I met my fake dad. Oh, you're fake, yeah. And I met everybody there, like Maxie and other people. <laughs> That's a good, it's a great family atmosphere. You know, I've been there almost 30 years. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that you've been in there more than me, but you have. I've been there a lot, a lot, a yes. lot more than you. And we just had our 15,000 episode. You, you know how many Grey's Anatomy's had? I think 400. We've had 15,000. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's mind blown. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, that's... I couldn't even be along for that live, I don't think. Well, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to grow old very gracefully. So you work with Michael Easton, who's a friend of mine. Um, what else are we going to talk about? I, I had a few. Oh, yes. I love America's Got Talent. Oh, yeah? So you, you were on or your father was on, right? On yeah, thing. my I father. I saw him on a, on a thing with fire. Yeah, he was on a wire. And what he calls it is fire wire, I think. Yeah, fire wire. And basically... He has a protective suit on so he doesn't get burned. Yeah. But one time, he did get burned right here on his leg. Yeah. And then after that, I saw him on TV, and he was running to the other side, like, really quick. But he was um, almost there, so. So how was that experience on AGT? Um, well, I don't really know, but he told me that it was like normal because he's been on a lot of shows right. with his by a while and it's just mind blown that i have a dad like that isn't it yeah and my goal is to get to americans got talent because it's amazing there and you're gonna do what your dad does or are you gonna be better than your dad i'm gonna probably do singing or dancing oh singing and dance and maybe I'll even do, if I'm not too old and I got on American's Got Talent, I will go on his shoulders and do the head trick I told you about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can't, I can't do any of that. I'm just, but I am, a, I can box. I'm a boxer. Yeah. But anything that has to do with heights, I'm afraid of heights. So I would not be good at that. Are you afraid of mountains when you go on a hike? I won't look over the mountain. 
but I can walk on a mountain. Yeah. You know? Uh, but if you're, like, on a plane and you look out the window, does that scare you? Well, if we're going to talk about planes, um, <laughs> I had to get off two planes. Not what? while in the air. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, I have a thing called I'm, I'm mental, I have mental illness. What is that, basically? <laughs> It depends. You know, bipolar, you get high and you get real low. Yeah. And it's, it, it's real difficult. And then you, depression is very um, heavy. It's more the body, a little bit of the thoughts. And then anxiety is the one that really scares me. Is uh, and you're, You can't stop your thoughts from uh, saying bad things, you know? Yeah. Like in a, a bad dream... If you try to wake up, you just can't. If you're in that, a bad dream. Yes, there are bad dreams and there are good dreams. When I was depressed at, uh, at certain times in my life, I would want to dream because only in my dream am I happy. Yeah, but it's kind of weird to think that you can't control your dreams even if it's your mind. That's a good one. You can't say it again. I want to hear that again. So you can't control your dreams, even so it's your mind. Yeah, I mean that's true. Maybe your brain just thinks of other things, and you don't even know it. Could be, could be. Now, if we could control our dreams, I would think of happy dreams and unicorns. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly <laughs> true. I would think of just happy stuff, right? Yeah, but if you have a bad dream, and then, like, I just stay in it because I don't know what to do. I try to wake up, but I just can't. Yeah, no. And then finally, when t kind of it's over, then I just suddenly wake up. Yeah, yeah, and then you're thinking about, you know, and do you remember your dreams? Yeah, but after, like, Let's say three minutes. After three minutes, I just forget them. Yeah, that's a, that's how it, you kind of do. Yeah, yeah but, but... But a lot of times, you don't remember your dreams. Yeah. Why and do you think that is? I think it's because your mind was too afraid of it to not think about it. Good. Yeah. Or maybe it's just blank sometimes. Yeah, maybe it's just blank. Right? All right. Well, that's our mental health talk for the state of mind, which is good. Uh, I like that. Um, what else? What else do you, do you feel like talking about? Um, well, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Okay, get your, get your little paper there, and we'll, we'll get some uh, questions going. How are you in General Hospital? How old am I? Yeah. The same age, I, I, I think I'm the same age I am, like 59 years old. Um, and how old are you in real life? 59. So how many kids do you have in real life? In real life, you know, somebody asked me this yesterday and I, I forgot. I don't, it, my memory is just kind of, I have four. Yes. And Sonny has seven. Yeah, seven. You say I have Sonny has seven kids? Yep. No. Yeah. No, let's let's count it. So you watch, have... watch the paper that it doesn't make any sound. You can have the paper. You so can... it has Michael. Okay, Michael. Dante. Dante, Christina, um, Christina, Avery, Avery, Dante, Brian, I mean not Brian, Morgan, that's five. Lena, Lila? Uh, that's not my kid. Okay. So that's five. I think I have five, but I could have six. So what is this? Oh, name? Donna. Oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. Sing it with me. I had a girl. Donna was her name. 
since she left me. I never been the same. Cause I love that girl. Don. Wow. See that? How do you know that song? I do not. <laughs> you don't? No. You're just singing it with me like you know. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, give me another thing. Um. <laughs> So I have how many kids? How uh, you have seven kids? I don't think it's seven, but it's six, right? I think it's six. Maybe it's seven. Then who is this? <laughs> Let me see. Leela, Lila, that's not my kid. Hey, the rest are my kids, but Donna. Oh no, that's one, two, three, four, five, six kids. Because I don't know who Leela is, and if I if I'm supposed to know, I'm in trouble with the audience. Because they're going to come at me like there's no tomorrow. Well, but I, I don't think, think I've, Sonny has a Leela. Here you go. Put it on the table so you don't, because okay. the sound will hit this. So Let's I'm going to ask you one more, a uh, couple more questions. Okay. How many Amy do you have? How many Amy? A Emmys? Yeah, Um, like trophies for... Yeah. Actors. Uh, three. Three? Yeah, three. Yep. And... But I, I, no, go ahead. How many <laughs> awards do you have? Well, I have a lot of mental health awards. And the, do you like my book over there, right? That you were yeah. checking it out. This book? Well, what does the book say on the top? The, the little the little top there. Um, the big? No, the white on the top. Um, yeah, just... New York Times. Best seller. Best seller. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that good at reading yet. That's fine. I'm not that good either, believe me. All right, what else we got? And <laughs> how many... Do you... Wait. Do you know... Do you... So, do you know what's going to happen to Sonny in his life? Well, you know, with Sonny, it, what's happening with Sonny is he had amnesia. You yeah. know, that means you don't remember who you are. Yeah, you don't remember who right. anyone is. Right. He was happy. He was happy in Nixon Falls. He was drinking beer. He was just just wiping the bar. And he had two people who cared for him. He didn't really remember who he was, but he was just at peace. And then... A woman comes in and she's beautiful. He didn't know that she was lying to him or not lying, whatever she was doing. And he fell in love with this woman. And then then uh, he became Sonny again. And all hell broke <laughs> loose. <laughs> and so he's back as Sonny. And now it's a whole lot of jumbo mumbo jumbo bumbo. You know what jumbo bumbo bumbo is? Uh, no, but I think I've seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke. <laughs> oh my god. What else we got? You got another um, question? Um Do you what do you hope the writers um let do you do the writers let you tell what you think of his life? Like if I like it or not like, like it. Yeah, I used to be more involved. With that, right? With telling, you know, let's do. Now, they're doing great right now, and uh, I have a little bit of input, but Frank Valentini, yeah, the executive producer of the hit show General Hospital, <laughs> he's uh, he's got it rolling, and we're you know the show's doing well, and I'm happy. And um, in the past, I got a little carried away with wanting things a certain way, and I, it's too much pressure for me. I, I don't want any more pressure. And if you could, what what would you write for Sonny, uh, Sonny's life? What would happen in his life if you were the writer? I like what I'm doing right now. I think it's different. I think uh, it's something that I've, you know, it's I'm playing this kind of weird two people, and I'm having kind of fun playing this kind of Mike and Sonny. Yeah. And... 
I've never really done it, so I'm 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 happy the way it, it is. But like, if you could tell me what you would want in Sunny's life. Maybe for his son, Michael, not to be so mean to him. That would be understandable. Right? Yeah. Because Michael is just not nice to his dad. And you're his dad. Yeah. you got to respect your, your, your family, right? Your I've family. never said a mean one to my parents. Never. You shouldn't. That's good. That's That means you're, that's perfect. So to to conclude this interview, so. oh yeah. um, how many episodes have you done? I don't even know. I mean, thirty years. Thirty years. Well, not yet, but it will be thirty years next year. Twenty. Wait. So how old are you? I'm uh, fifty nine. Is that kind of old for you? Is that old? Fifty nine? No, but that would mean <laughs> that would mean that the next time that General Hospital turns into sixty, mm -hmm. you will have the same birthday because you'll turn into sixty. Now that is smart. You know why that is smart? Because you're right. Because nineteen sixty three is when I was born and that's when General Hospital started. If I'm wrong about this, I don't think I am. I think you're you're absolutely right. Yeah, and it would just be like your birthday is on the same day that General Hospital is getting his birthday or her birthday. Well, it's not the exact day, but it's this is exact. It's a year. Yeah. It's the exact year. Yeah. And that means that you would be getting your birthday on the exact year. That yes. Yes. General Hospital. So if General Hospital. How many years has General Hospital been on? Same with me, 59 years. I think, yeah, 59 yeah. years. Getting confused here. Oh, yeah. And the number of episodes is 2,900. 2, that I've done? Yeah, look. You, you looked that up? My mother did. That's amazing. I've done that much? That's ridiculous. Well, it's true. <laughs> wow. How old are you? Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm seven. I'm eight. About to be eight. And that would mean that... That's 2,900 days, too. That's amazing. That's that's phenomenal. Listen. So it would be like that if I was to do that many, right? Then I would have to work an episode every day of my life. Wow, that's maybe I should leave the show, you know, because that's too many. Yeah, you're supposed to say no. You can't leave the show. You cannot leave the show. <laughs> All right. Listen, we've talked enough. It's been the greatest interview in the history of State of Mind. Now I want you to take that little guitar you got there, and I want you to sing that beautiful song that I saw just last night for the first time that you wrote, I guess, and do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three. Wait. Okay, ten, two. Three, two, one. Walk in the dark. Never be found Being, being in the cortex Have a friend with me If you would just understand We gotta get back home We gotta get back home tonight Let's fly the chains and walk in the night don't be afraid or you will hide. Yeah, you will hide. Oh, I just want to get back home to the old life we were at tonight. Oh, morning, I'm running. 
song I ever made. Is it? Yeah. I just made up songs, but this is the first song I've ever remembered and made. Unbelievable. I, re- I wrote it for Rebecca. Oh, you did? Well, I didn't really write it for her. It's just when she asked me to do a song before she left, I just made it up around the way. Wow. And... I did add a few parts to it since the last time I've done it. So, yeah, I've added a few parts. And, yeah. You're going to write me a song, right? Yes. Eventually. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll have, I'm going to record it. Okay. All right, listen. This has been uh, just a, I don't know. I knew I there, when we met and we connected. Yeah. And I we decided to do this. I had a feeling it was gonna be this. Just I knew, and I'm so glad that you came here, and did this. The world needs to see you. I mean, I know they already see you. But my, my audience needs to see you. Thank you very much. All right. We're good? We're good. Thank you, darling. Of course.